but an amazing academy of pull things out of me I didn't even know I possessed. So behold, as the evolution unfolds, back on 12th and K, now Martin Luther King, the dream, ironically as it may seem, is the work of the big hand. Community concerns all around still, an open door policy for those of us who were in doubt. You see, those walls can talk. I can hear them from here. Because in the bridge program, I learned to listen with more than just my ears. Good afternoon. This is Barb Valdez with We the Students Television. And this afternoon, I'm with Dr. Gilda Shepard and Dr. Lee. Um, how are you today? Fine. Fine. Good. I just want to ask you a couple questions about um, the um, your about campus life here at Evergreen State College in Tacoma. Um, first, I want to ask you a little bit about your, your background, um, your educational background, your history, and what what made you come to teach at the Evergreen State College Tacoma campus? Well, I'm the oldest, so <laughs> I will go first. Uh, I've been teaching here for 10 years. My PhD is in um, sociology and uh, cultural studies, and I'm also a filmmaker. What made me come here is um, I was teaching at Seattle Central Community College, and I taught in a coordinated studies program, which is an interdisciplinary program. Hence, you know, a lot of different disciplines come together and cross one another to pull out more learning from each discipline, so it becomes a larger piece of learning. I was teaching in class called The Televised Mind, The Effect of Electronic Media on Your Values. And this was more than 10 years ago because I've been teaching here for 10 years. At first, I did this class thinking, oh my goodness, I need to talk about Durkheim and, and Weber and, and Du Bois and so many other people. But then I realized that when I taught with a writing teacher as well as uh, um, uh, another um, uh, a history teacher that my knowledge in sociology expanded and it was so much faculty kind of um, development you know uh, in a scholarly way that it extended my even my area to becoming a filmmaker and so it has enhanced me tremendously and I've also seen particularly how I get even more learning from the students because I'm able to tap into their passions or their interests. And if I don't, then we have another chance with another professor and another chance with another professor in the same classroom under the same thing, not to take away. And so I, I saw more exponentially more learning from our students and also more faculty development for me. So it's this interdisciplinary kind of way of teaching and um, the kind of learning community that develops as a result of it. And people are really collaborative. I mean, they actually are. So, you know, <laughs> and when they're not, we were able to really reflect on that and put that in a in teaching and learning, not just as a personality. So, um, I love it here. It's a, a very, very unique institution. Uh, you have adult learners uh, in many ways. Uh, these are people, or many of the students are people trying to turn their lives around. Yes. And so to teach here is not to teach at uh, a more conventional institution like the University of Washington or Seattle University or any of these places. Right, right. And uh, we have, in, in the course of my being here, uh, five years or so, we've had enormous success stories that I take great pride in saying that you know I played a role in uh, helping folks turn their lives around. How do you feel about the structure here at Evergreen about having no grades? I like it because I grew up in a traditional institution where you had grades. And basically, my basic education, although I succeeded at it, was memorizing and regurgitating. And I think uh, what I've come away from, from with the philo educational philosophy, philosophy here at Evergreen is that you need to be able to read, write, and think your way through this college as opposed to remember, just memorizing one political, one uh, theory about things and just regurgitating that on an exam that asks you specific questions. I, unfortunately, I think that's uh, traditional education is what 
we are still involved with and a lot of students come with the inability to think about things beyond what do I need to memorize for the test. And when you do away with the test, to me that forces students to think, evaluate, and do more research to right. come to conclusions about various questions. You more know, hands on yeah. structure. Um, Try to uh, combine what I accumulated over the years doing research, more advanced science with the basic teaching, uh, is a challenge for me. And um, and also after I come to Tacoma Evergreen, uh, I get exposed to a lot of other things beyond biomedical sciences, which has been my formal education. So I'm learning American history, sociology, as well as the constitutions and laws and ethics. All these things um, has been very fulfill, fulfill, uh, it's, uh, fulfillment for me. Mm -hmm. uh, expansion on my understanding of American culture. Um, as Dr. Shepard was saying, co-teaching as well as learning from students. Has Evergreen always been that way? Did it start out that way? Was yes, I think that was its philosophy. Yeah, it started out. It was going to be different from traditional institutions in that it didn't, wouldn't emphasize grades. Okay. It, it's a learn. It emphasized learning communities where you have exchanges between students and faculty, and those exchanges would not be dependent on having the correct answer in order to get an A, B, C, or D. And um, how do you think the um, structure? Uh, difference from the main campus from here. Is it the same structure there as it is? And here? somewhat, it's the same. You know, the, it's the same philosophy, but because the main main campus has more full, uh, more programs and mm -hmm. more faculty, it it its focus is very varied depending on you know the area of interest. And because we are a program and not campus wide, we focus on one theme for the year and various individual classes that feed into that theme.